we're here. We're here uh, with the folks from the circus on Showtime. Um, let me ask you all this. Is there a unifying theme to the people you've seen or a message you've, you've seen from the people who have jumped in already? How many are, is it six or something like that who have jumped in right now on the Democratic side? We've got four people saying Medicare for all that four years ago was just Bernie. And now that's the mainstream thing to say. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, I mean, the, yes. I, I'll say it. We have... We like to have an audience of just purely uninsured people here on Mess Like This. <laughs> you get an insurance plan and you get... Um, the, first, we should note that what's different about this crop of announced Democratic candidates is there are a lot more ladies, a lot more people that look like me. Sure. Um, I mean, Tulsi Gabbard, Kirsten Gillibrand, Kamala Harris, you mm -hmm. know, Elizabeth Warren, that's huge in, in and of itself, right? And I think women in this particular moment especially given the events of last week and General Nancy Pelosi, have shown that they are unafraid of standing up to this president and may, in fact, be the most potent adversaries. We'll see. Especially in 2020, which will be the 100th anniversary of women's suffrage. Yeah. It is going to be another year of the of Wim woman. W and women are still suffering. Yes. <laughs> well, I know that's not what suffrage means. but I um, think, Yeah, I think Kamala Harris and Elizabeth Warren are in very dominant position in the, in the primary right now. I'd say they're the front runner. But you also have to understand, there is going... Democrats have a, a tendency to vet their candidates, some would call it eat their own, in a way that Republicans don't necessarily. And you are going to have, you are going to see each one of these candidates pass through the gauntlet in a, in a pretty spectacular way. We're already seeing it right now with the beginnings of Kamala Harris's candidacy and questions about whether her prosecutorial record is something that she can have in the day and age of progressive politi politics being what they are, mm -hmm. especially around criminal justice. Which is crazy, because that makes her a much better general election candidate. Well, but this is, this is going to be what is ahead of us in the next year, right? There will be some cannibalization of some of these candidates because it is a big, raucous tent. But she was, um, I, was at, I was at the Kamala Harris event out in Oakland the other day, the big one, and she said one thing that I think is the commonality of all of them. Her line about how we Americans, we are better than this, right? That's part of her stump speech now, but all of them sort of have that argument. I think for, the, if there's a common theme across the ideological spectrum in the Democratic Party, it is kind of a restoration. The argument they're gonna make is, this Donald Trump thing was an aberration. For whatever reason, we've gone way off the rails, and what we're going to now try to compete with each other on is who has the best vision and message and policies to try to bring America back to the, what they think of as the way we should be, which right, is a better, a better country, normality. Some and sense I think of they're normality. all telling some story about that, and we're going to see all the other Democratic candidates competing to try to tell that story. I'm the person who can bring America back to itself. Make America normal. To its best. To its <laughs> best. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Make America normal. <laughs> Let's talk about somebody who's done a few things that are wrong. Roger Stone has been on your... He's been on your show a bunch. You guys have talked to him. He's basically the fourth member of the circus. <laughs> That's an odd... That's terrible. That's an odd, <laughs> that's an odd brag, I gotta say, at this yeah. point. Yeah. Um, uh, what's he doing? What's his recent media blitz? Uh, do you... If you, this you is give some insight of what the man thinks like. This is exactly where Roger Stone wanted to be. He's getting... Massive attention was which is exactly what he wanted. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that ultimately he will likely go to prison, and and that's just fine with him. Uh, it may be, it may be, it maybe gets commuted or pardoned or a short term, and then he ends up being the G. Gordon Liddy of this administration and goes on to you know, radio shows and what have you. But Roger Stone's right where he wants to be. He, he's, talk, he's doing TV because he's talking to Donald Trump. Donald Trump does one thing in the Oval Office, and that's watch TV. Mm -hmm. And his way of either ensuring a pardon <laughs> or making his case to the most powerful person in the United States is by doing this on national television, speaking repeatedly about how the president did nothing wrong. That's what the, is at the core of the media blitz. Watch The yeah. Circus. It airs Sundays on Showtime. John Heilman, Mark McKinnon, and Alex Wagner, everybody. We'll be right